one mind map is used to explain this heat map analysis in this particular video and if you want to get this mind map you need to download our Shomus biology app from the play store and inside the study material section you can clearly see the mind map for all these videos that we're sharing thank you hello everyone welcome back to another video from Shomus biology today we are going to talk about the genetics chapter we are going to talk about genetics uh, the topics that are repeatedly asked from genetics in CSI and LSBT examination and this genetics chapter is very very important and very conceptual. So we are going to talk about the heat map analysis of genetics. A heat map analysis series is of Shomus Biology original series. So let's start with the heat map analysis of genetics that is unit 8 summary. We'll first talk about the summary, the verdict and then we'll talk about the different topic list which are important. So let's dig in to the summary of this genetics unit or unit 8. The importance level of genetics in the whole syllabus is very high. The scoring potential is also very high and the average marks range that you can obtain from this unit uh, in the exam is 16 to 30 marks and the overlap of genetics unit is also is with evolution that is unit 11 with population genetics with molecular biology with unit 3 uh, where we have molecular genetics tagged with uh, this genetics unit as well. Okay, so we have overlapping with unit uh, 11 and unit 3. So let us continue to talk about the high yield topics that now we are going to discuss the repeatedly asked topics from the genetics unit in the past CSI and life science syllabus uh, examinations. Uh, so Mendelian genetics is important. Mendelian genetics frequency is 5 star rated. So the frequency, the number of times Mendelian genetics asked is very, very much and it focus on the monohybrid and dihybrid crosses, the ratios and uh, deviations uh, from the ratios that you need to understand from Mendelian genetics. Then we have pedigree analysis which is very important. The importance level is 4 out of 5 star and the focus here for the pedigree analysis is autosomal versus X-linked traits and you need to answer the mathematical problem of pedigree analysis between dominant, recessive, autosomal or X-linked traits in the pedigree. That's the focus on pedigree analysis. Then we have gene interpretation, particularly epistasis. Okay, uh, the frequency is 4 out of 5 star. The focus on epistasis here is the complementary genes, duplicate gene production, the type of ep epistasis that give rise to the complementary genes and duplicate genes, uh, recessive epistasis, dominant epistasis, dominant recessive epistasis, duplicate dominant epistasis are the type of examples that we need to focus on in this uh, gene interpretation, uh, gene interaction study. Genetic mapping and re recombination is another high yield topic. Here we, the frequency is 4 out of 5 star. The focus here uh, is the test cross particular test crosses will be asked in the question recombination frequencies uh, you need to answer and map units and linkage mapping the la linkage between the two genes the map units the map distance between the two genes their location with respect to each other is something that we need to figure out in numerical problems are also very important population genetics hardy weinberg equilibrium this unit is tagged with the unit 11 so this part of the genetics is, is actually population genetics the frequency of repeated questions question is 3 star out of 5 so moderate focus here uh, would be the p square plus 2 pq plus q square this particular formula the, the the understanding of allele frequency the understanding of gene frequencies and also to count the overall uh, population whether it is uh, following the hardy weinberg principle or not and to find out the value of one allele frequency knowing the other or to find out the different genotype frequencies is something that we need to understand okay that is the focus of population genetics chromosomal aberrations chromosomal abnormalities and here the frequency is 4 star out of 5 now chromosomal ab aberrations means in this case numerical aberrations aneuploidy polyploidy are the topics which are important and then the chromosomal translocation means the swapping of the chromosomal segment between the different chromosomes are important inversions are important particularly repeated questions are asked from the inversions of chromosomal abnormalities or aberrations and there are extra chromosomal inheritance the frequency is low two star out of five and the focus of extra chromosomal inheritance here is the maternal inheritance mitochondrial and chloroplast inheritance are the topic of interest that you need to prepare for getting repeated questions human genetics and diseases and the genes genes related to the genes this is again the frequency of repeated questions are low two star out of five but here the focus 
uh, is also the SNP, single nucleotide polymorphisms and molecular markers that de detects like SNPs as a markers. Uh, linkage uh, to traits, SNPs related to the traits are also human genetics and diseases which are important topics. So these are all high yield topics from genetics chapter of CSINet LSBT syllabus and you can prepare these topics. If you prepare these topics, you are going to see repeated question in the examination only from these topics. If you want to prepare suggestively, then prepare these topics. So we have concluded our overall summary and high yield topics from genetics or unit 8 of CSINet LSBT syllabus. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video to your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. And if you wish to join our coaching or if you want to buy our study material or if you want to join our mock test series, then contact the given number here in this video 9804654228 or visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our app Shomus Biology from the Play Store. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.